super duper amazingly awesome even though it's a little bit weird but hold up if you're not part of my family i really encourage you guys to join Here's your virtual hug welcome to the family and actually i give surprise comment hugs as well if you're already part of my family you guys know uh, i think you're like the most amazing people in the world this video to 20,000 thumbs up that would be super duper amazing so without further ado let's jump straight on to the video these motions. I feel like I'm a sprinkler. You know I hate it when you're distant. So did you know you can turn your iPhone camera lens to the perfect macro lens with simply just a drop of water? It's amazing. Take a little drop of water onto your fingers and transfer this straight onto your camera lens. And now you can take photos of something super small and close up. So I'm gonna give you guys this comparison before the water drop and after the water drop, you can see the veins on this little bug's wings. It is simply insane how detailed this lens has become just from the drop of water. So I just sit here till the tables turn. So I always end up eating when I'm using my phone and I like my fingers get so sticky and grubby and then I just like put it on my phone screen and it's totally disgusting. And if you have long nails like me, it might make it hard to play precise games. So with this DIY, you can make your own iPhone stylus out of just regular things around the house. All you need is a pen with a metallic casing, a sponge and some scissors. So simply just take the pen apart and make sure it's actually like all metal because you want it to conduct electricity from your fingers. Then cut out a bit of the sponge that's just a little bit bigger than the opening of your pen and then stick it in so a little bit of it sticks out. That's pretty much it. And make sure your sponge is just a little bit moist because we need the water to conduct the electricity as well. And this is a perfect hack to keep your screen clean. I'm using this stylus to play Best Fiends who've generously sponsored this video. And I've been like totally obsessed with this game. So what you do, it's really simple. Just match the colors in a row. This will mean that your little bug army can defeat like these giant ugly slugs and trust me this is addictive i'm on level 41 right now and tweet me your level as well i want to see like how far you've gotten because it's actually pretty hard guys like i've been stuck on a few levels for a little while and there's a free gift if you play on july the 10th and there's also a new quest for gene after you reach level 100 where you can win gold and diamonds and so like i really gotta get to level 100 asap this game is completely free, so click the link in the description to download it from the App Store or Google Play. And because they've been so kind to sponsor me, I'm doing my biggest giveaway I have ever done on this channel. One of you guys is getting, ta-da, a beautiful new MacBook. Winner can choose their favorite color, and this giveaway is for my family, so you've got to be subscribed. Then the next thing I want you guys to do is give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what your favorite DIY is and also follow me on Instagram and leave a comment there as well if you want like bonus points. And good luck guys! When I heard that you were in town. For you guys that like love exercise and you don't have an armband because it's too expensive or you want your own custom armband, all you need is a pair of socks and some scissors. I think this is so cute. It's like almost like denim. All you need to do is cut the sock off above the heel so you just have this straight tube. Pull it over your arm and then double it over and that's pretty much your armband. It's so simple. Slip your phone in and basically wrap the top. And then what you want to do is lightly mark the top where your earphone jack is going to poke through cut it and then like slip your earphones in and that's pretty much your armband it's so simple it actually feels more secure than i thought it would especially since i have this like monster iphone 6 plus know, so baby, i'm excited for life with you Cords are the bane of my existence. I suck at organizing cords. I always have electronics on my table, like everywhere. It just gets in the way and I get super duper annoyed because the cord is way too long. 
And all you need is a thick pen and a hairdryer. So all you need to do is wrap the cord, leaving the ends of the cord that you actually need the length of, and wrap it around super, super tightly into this coil shape. And then take a hairdryer on the highest heat setting and blow dry it for a couple of minutes. And make sure you don't burn yourself, wear gloves, or hold it in place with something else because I don't want you guys to hurt yourself. After a few minutes, it keeps its shape and it becomes super cute like springy cord. I just want to play with it. I want to make this in all different kind of colors and give it to people because I think it's so cute. It literally looks like you bought it from the store. So yeah, try this and let me know if you guys love it because yeah, I am in love. <laughs> So you know like when you unplug stuff from your table and your cord just falls on the floor? Yeah, I'm way too lazy to pick it up all the time. So enter Mr. Lego Man. Use some blue tack, stick your little Lego Man onto the side of your desk and push the cords into his little mitts when you unplug them and he will keep them ready for you and in place for the next time you come back and want to plug in your electronics. And the best thing about this is you can choose like any Lego Man you want. This next awesome DIY helps you make a 3D hologram projector out of plastic. You can use any kind of plastic. A CD case cover as well is perfect. Just cut them out into four trapezoid shapes and stick them together like a pyramid. Put this upside down on your phone and it literally creates a hologram image magically before your eyes. But my fiance made this on his DIY channel. So if you guys want to check out this full DIY, go to his channel called Jumbo Rabbit. So much fun. <laughs> So I had so much fun with this DIY. Did you know that you can turn your iPhone into a black light? I had no idea what a black light was, but it basically makes your highlighters and markers look super duper glowy and it's so much fun in the dark, especially when you have friends over. So it's actually super simple to make. All you need is your phone and some clear tape and a purple and blue Sharpie. So take a piece of tape and tape it over the flashlight and color it blue. Then take another piece, tape it over the first piece and then color it purple and finally take the final piece cover it again and color it blue and that's pretty much it this DIY is super easy to do and it's totally awesome and amazing check out these colors like I literally even drew all over my body and face just to play with it it is so much fun watch things on my phone even when a huge laptop or computer screen is literally right in front of me it's sometimes just easier because I'm already on my phone it doesn't make any logical sense for me to do this instead of straining your neck down on your phone you can actually make your own little phone stand combined with speaker system to hold it up all you need is a toilet roll and two party cups cut a slit on the toilet roll on the top and you can mark this out so that your iPhone can fit perfectly in place then cut a circle in each of the sides of the cups And then fit them together and you have a really cool holder and speaker system. The great thing about this is you can color it and design it to whatever like theme you have in your room at the moment and, and switch it out whenever you change it. <laughs> DIY I have for you guys is this awesome home projector for your iPhone and to make this it's actually really really simple you just need an old shoe box or a cardboard box a magnifying glass tape scissors and some play-doh so trace out a circle in the front of your box in the shape of your magnifying glass and cut out an opening for it and make sure this is not too big because you don't want the magnifying glass to like move around a lot now tape the magnifying glass in place from the back and you have your projector lens now turn the lights off and use a blank wall or a white cardboard to set up your own movie screen. To make this super clear, you just need to shift the phone back and forth to the perfect position as well as the projector. And once you get this right, you just basically use your Play-Doh to keep it in place. Because a magnifying glass actually flips the image upside down, I have no idea why, but it just does. You need to turn on the assistive touch function on your iPhone so that you can rotate the screen the white 
the right <laughs> the right way around on the projector and you can like watch movies YouTube whatever it's really really cool especially if you have friends over and make sure your phone is on the brightest setting as well so you can see this clearly I actually thought this wasn't going to work because I've seen this fail so many times and it's true like shuffle it so we could actually see the screen this is like so awesome guys I'm going to show you this DIY lava lamp. All you need is some cute clear bottles, baby oil, food coloring, and Alka-Seltzer. So fill up your bottles two thirds of the way up with baby oil and the rest with water. So the reason for doing this is the oil and the water don't like each other. So they're not going to mix together and it keeps the color away from the baby oil. Drop a few drops of food coloring into the water. And seriously, this process is a piece of art in itself. We literally stood there and watched the food coloring explode into the water so many times. But it just ended the DIY here and we would have had so much fun. But I'm going to put down the recipes for the colors that I made on the screen for you guys so you guys can make your own. All you need to do to make it go all lavery is to add a tablet of Alka-Seltzer to make your lava lamp dance. Now it's looking pretty good, but to make this DIY pop even more, pop your iPhone flashlight underneath while it's on and it'll just light it up like this magical lamp. It's a sight to be seen. I actually think this green color looks radioactive. The purple one looks amazingly like a galaxy. I really want to know which one was your favorite DIY hack for today. I know which one my favorite is. Can you guys guess? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys right back here. Bye!